or warmed up. Good morning. This is Robert Cornicelli, National President for Veterans for America First, Veterans for Trump. We're here today with a very special guest, Tom Kaz. He's a country music singer, songwriter, but most of all, he's a veteran. And the reason we have veterans like Tom on, we want to bring them in as ambassadors for Veterans for America First so they can help us reach more veterans and make them understand how crucial it is, one, to elect veterans into Congress, and two, to support veterans all over the world, all over the country. And Tom has made it clear that he's going to use his gift, his God-given gift of music, to help veterans who are just so sorely in need of, of assistance that the government's not providing. So Tom Kaz, welcome. Good morning, and it's a uh, great veteran to Tom Kaz. Yes, yes, veteran. Actually, I come from a like I said, I come from a family of uh, of veterans. My father and brother both did over twenty years. So I'm uh, great to be here. Honored to share my story and uh, see how we can help. But you're a veteran yourself. You served. I am. Yeah, I served in the Air Force. Uh, was fortunate to have uh, spent some time in Desert Storm, Desert Shield, and uh, was a nice part of my life. And that's kind of what motivated me to do what I'm doing now is, you know, I have a lot of great friends from when I was in the military, but my father, my brother, both, you know, career guys. So it's important to me and to my family that we do something because I feel like right now our veterans need some attention. And, you know, it, it doesn't hurt for us to, to, to come together like you're doing with your organization and work as a team to help them. And that's what this is all about. Well, tell us about your song. Um, it's a very patriotic song. Thank you. Uh, yeah. It's, could ask uh, you to sing a couple of bars. <laughs> with the R I see in the back, but uh Yeah. Um Outlaw in the USA is one of the songs off the new Whiskey Town album. And you know, it kind of came to me. I'd gone to a Trump rally and I was in Waco, Texas, and I was very fortunate to get in very tight with uh, with Matt Gates and, and Marjorie Taylor Greene and some other people. And I just kept sharing my story with them. And I kept sharing my song with people. We had a brochure we handed out to literally thousands of people prior to that. We were there at eight in the morning, he got there at six. And so all day, all I did was promote the song and walk around and meet people. And the response that I got was incredible. And then I had an opportunity to uh, to perform Outlaw in the USA at the convoy, you know, the convoy that went from Virginia to San Diego and then down to Yuma for the border. Um, and just the response that I got from the song, I mean, it's the only song that I know of, and I did write it, but it's the only song I know of that talks about living by the Constitution, standing up and having your voice be heard, fighting for your freedom and taking care of our veterans. And that's what Outlaw in the USA is all about. And it feels like guys like you and me that served back in the past, it feels like we're being made to be outlaws now, right? Because we believe in the Constitution. We believe in fighting for our freedom. And so I was inspired to write the song, uh, and it's done very well. And we're excited to share it with you guys and the rest of our veterans community. Our goal is to have President Trump use this or play this at his rallies because it is written for him and for all of our patriots and veterans. Now, what's your plan uh, um, in regards to helping veterans. Uh, I know I just spoke with Major um, Gerald Malloy. I was telling you earlier, he's running for Senate in Vermont against uh, Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. And I was telling him things that I've um, come come across in terms of getting care. I'm 100% service-connected disabled. And I was telling him things like, you know, Trump passed a law um, I forgot what it was called, but basically a uh, right to try, the right to try right. law for people to say who's dying of cancer. Mm -hmm. yeah. But veterans can use right to try as well when you talk about the pain that they have to live through every single day. And you go to the VA and they want to stick metal, you know, uh, what do they call that, uh, the, that um, a Asian treatment, um, acupuncture. They yeah. stick little metal things on your ear to fall off within an hour. Um, and it doesn't do anything. And you wonder why veterans are killing themselves because they're living in misery every day. Yes. What about right to try for veterans who want to try PRP, you know, platelet replacement or stem cell, something right. that mm -hmm. can help them. And it's so vital that we, because you're going to be an ambassador for Veterans for America First, that we find candidates out there who are veterans mm -hmm. or are so... Um, caring towards their plight that we get them to say hey you know see this is a different type of interview i'm interviewing let's say major malloy to see if he's going to do this stuff you as an ambassador we gotta tell these guys and girls when you get in there expect phone calls because we're going to want 
bills passed that help veterans. Absolutely. It's great that we, I have a veteran group on the side also. I have a, a veteran group on the side that I do my own little thing. Mm -hmm. But these guys have the trillions. Right. To change the system. Yes. And, you know, I could go into a long dissertation. I mean, my background includes medicine when I was in the radiology department in the Air Force. But, you know, our focus is there's there's some many great organizations out here, Tunnel to Towers and what they're doing uh, with homes and helping those uh, pay off mortgages and build apartment complexes for, for veterans. Um, I felt like with my background, mental wellness really needed to be a focus and not just for the veterans, but for our entire country. And I've been very fortunate over the last 30 years to become friends with some very high profile individuals that are now experts at the top of their field. Dr. Patrick Porter from BrainTap, Dr. Jason Maggio from Blueprint Nutrition. And both of these individuals have built companies into the hundreds of millions of dollars selling nutrition and technology to help with the brain and the body and wellness. And um, I felt like that to me was a focus because I've struggled, you know, all of us struggle with something at some point in our lives. But you know, after COVID, uh, we went through a really tough period living in Las Vegas, you know, didn't have a show. My wife was in a hotel business, couldn't book hotels. And so I focused on songwriting to keep me going. And what inspired me was as many veterans as I met in performing and meeting them around the country. I just had so many people come up to me and say, I wish my brother would have met you or my sister or my dad, because there are too yeah. many suicides and there are too many. So what our goal is, you asked this question is, what is our focus? Our focus is to try to bring nutrition and technology to the masses, to the veterans, and to fund that through various live shows. Because if you go to a Jason Aldean show, he's generating a few hundred thousand dollars a night. Well, if I'm doing a show like that, why can't I take a hundred grand and buy brain tap headsets and six months worth of nutrition for 50 veterans? You know what I mean? And so that way there is, let's, you know, if a veteran's out there listening now and they want to bring me to their town to perform, my goal is if I come to Cincinnati or San Diego or Indianapolis, before I leave that town, I want to give someone the resources to service those veterans. And that's what this is about for me is bringing things that are not mainstream modalities to the veterans at low or no cost and partner with organizations like yours to share my song, my mission and my message. So that's what we're focused on. Well, I love it. You know, I like your passion. Um, helping veterans is, is, is number one goal right now. And awesome. in 2024, November, when Trump wins, we're going to know we have someone in there who's going to listen. Like right now, Absolutely. you can come up with the greatest ideas. Biden, Kamala, Schumer, uh, Hakeem, they're not listening. It's not a demographic they care about. It's a demographic that they, they hope just goes to the side. It is. And, and that's, that's what I saw, too. And, and you know, for, for those of us that have been fortunate in life, I think there's too many veterans out here living on the streets when, you know, obviously immigration's an issue. But for me, it's even with Tunnel to Towers and the conversation we had, it's great to buy our payoff mortgages. It's great to give these veterans a place to live. But the reality is, is they still have to deal with the six inches between their ears. And I felt like that was my purpose and my gift. And to put this program together with BrainTap, with Solution Health, and with all these organizations, it's going to expose me and the music to the veterans. But more importantly, I hope it inspires them to at least take action. So if you come to a Tom Cash show, um, or if you attend one of our events and you have something that you want to talk about, we're going to have people for you to talk to. And that's the key is you've got to get honest with yourself and ask for help. Because that's what we do, right? As veterans, we tend to be, as military, we tend to be a little bit guarded. We don't want to appear weak. We don't want to appear vulnerable. But you got to let your guard down and be honest with people that can help you. And I want to say right now that I want to be that voice for the voiceless, those who are struggling, those who are sleeping in bed all day and don't want to get up. You know, I'm here to help. And I've been through it. I know what it's like. And I can tell you that you just have to make a choice. And I hope I can make... Uh, that happened for so many more of our veterans out here that are not only taking their own lives, but just living a daily struggle. And that's, to me, that's more important than anything else. The shows and the music, that's all gravy. This is the core mission, is to bring this to the masses and to the veterans. And and and, and one of the most important things we need to do is change the optic. Yes. You, can, you, see, you see homeless veterans out there or uh, we have 1.4 million veterans living at a below the poverty level. And the optic out there is you cross the border illegally and you get a hotel room in a luxury hotel with 
Xboxes and and, and a five thousand dollar gift card. Yeah. Yes. So what? How? How do you think that makes them feel? So, taking care of their mental health is very important. And it's funny. Um, I told you I worked for General Flynn at the DIA. I was there four years. And one of the first things he he did when he met his directors, and they would come in real excited to talk about the missions. Remember, it's an intelligence agency. Oh, I want to hear about the health and welfare of your your soldiers and sailors. Right. Your, your airmen and, and the Marines. And he he's like, the first thing I want to hear is how are you, how are your Joe's doing? Forget right. about the missions. He's a great guy. I met general Flynn at a Trump event and uh, just had a chance to speak with him and his son actually was there and they were, they were doing their thing. And I shared with him what I'm doing. And he was extremely proud of the fact that someone was taking the initiative to focus on something other than the major causes people are aware of. Not many people are thinking about mental wellness for the veterans. Even though it's a huge problem, no one's coming up with a solution. And so I brought together some of the biggest experts in the world to make this happen and to create a solution. And my goal is to not only have President Trump use this song, but to sit down with him for a short period of time and show him how this technology works. We've got over 4,000 doctors in the United States and around the world using it. And to lower stress levels, lower anxiety, help with insomnia, help with the daily grind that you're going through, stimulating your brain and your neurology and, and calming things down and getting your nutrition and your gut brain access right is the key. And so I'm very proud of the fact that these gentlemen and their companies have come forward to participate. And uh, my goal is to get as many veterans out there to reach out for help and uh, give them the resources that they need to, to take a step on their own and, and be able to self-administer. You know, they don't have to get up and go to a clinic to do this. They can do it at home. They can call in and do a telemedicine consult with our wellness app we're putting together. So uh, a lot of great things. I'm very proud of the team we've assembled and I'm super excited to be uh, now working with your organization. Well, great. Um, there are so many things that you brought up that I wanted to touch on, but just one one thing when you said the app, you know, if you go out, if you're a disabled veteran, you have TRICARE for life, it pays for everything. Um, but when you reach, if you end up on Social Security Disability Insurance, the government shifts you to Medicare as your primary, TRICARE as your secondary. And mm -hmm. so maybe the providers in your network need to understand is, what happens when you're on Medicare now? What do you have? You have a premium, like a $2,000 a year premium. Yeah. So you just took a, 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 medic, a, a medical expenses that were free, when you're on TRICARE for life. And because now you're on Social Security Disability Insurance, the government, the same government that pays your TRICARE and pays Medicare, now you have a $2,000 yeah. payment. So we have to be aware of these type of things that, you know, it's great what you're doing, but alongside that, help us fight to get these elected officials in who are going to say, that's nonsense. There should be- It is, here it is. Things. Because- you're handling the stress and the and the mental health. Mm -hmm. But it, it's almost like in the army, right? You have an attack element and you have a suppression element, right? You can't have just one. They work together. Correct. Yeah. And for us to work on mental health, we have to attack the causes. Yes. And, and the after effects. And the causes are the damn government creating obstacles for veterans, for homeless veterans, you have a mental issue, a mental health issue if you're homeless. I mean, there's something oh, wrong. So let's get them housing. Let's uh -huh. kick out the illegals, put them in those luxury hotel rooms, and then use your program to deal with the, the stress and anxiety that homelessness and them being forgotten by the government has caused. Absolutely. And, you know, it's, it's interesting that, you know, and I, I say this very openly, I do encourage our veterans to get involved in their communities and in their states and and, and be active. Um, the, the thing for me is for, with the mental wellness program, um, I just felt like, you know, now that I've been around the country and met so many of them, they're asking for help, but the VA doesn't offer these types of modalities. Um, the other problem is how much money have we spent to, sent to other countries to provide protection for them and uh, support for them? $100 billion to Ukraine. Why is that not? Why is there not one billion dollars going to just our veterans in this capacity? You know, and, well, and, and veterans we shelter. ask that question, but at the end of the day, it, it comes down to well, somebody's got to do something, it might as well be us, right? Call, call the VA. I called the VA yesterday, I was on hold for an hour and 50 minutes mm -hmm. 
just to get I have tennis elbow, just to get seen about it. But why are you on hold for? Uh, because they're understaffed. They're understaffed, and you and know we're my giving, father. Like I said, a hundred billion to Ukraine, and here's a funny exactly. thing: the the medical expenses for illegals coming across the border. Who handles who handles the the um, processing of the bills? Do you know who? No, the VA. Wow. The VA is using its resources to process the medical expenses for illegal aliens, but you don't have. Mm. So what you're doing is just so amazing when it comes to helping veterans. Um, we're giving you our ambassadorship. Uh, we'll be sending you over a graphic any minute, as long as it says veteran on it, I'm happy. <laughs> um, and we're there to help you get, get your music out and and take care of the, the these veterans who need it. I greatly appreciate it. It's truly an honor. And uh, before uh, before we wrap up the call here, I just want to say, you know, thank you for taking the time to spend listening to the music and spending some time with me prior to this Zoom call. Um, I'm here because I feel like this is my purpose. I feel like God has used me um, as a performer, as a songwriter, as a speaker to to bring this this important, important initiative to another level. And, you know, if, if everybody watching this video went to my website and bought a Warriors bundle, that's a $40 package with three bottles of barbecue sauce and a CD, right? But what I'm doing with that is I'm trying to generate interest in having products, um, barbecue sauces, rubs. I have my own beef and steaks company coming out of a, 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 a processing plant here in Alabama. The more things we can create, like a Margaritaville brand, if you will, the more revenue we can generate. And I can use that to help grow this program. And that is, that's what's exciting. Um, it's tough. It's not easy, but, uh, it, you know, someone has to be a voice for the voiceless and I want to apply for the job. So I'm, I'm out here to do this and, uh, very, you don't go into the service for tough, for easy and not tough. That's right. You're right. And you know, when you grow up in a military family with, with like I did with a dad that was a former TI, um, you give it, you give it your all. You know, you go, you give it your all. And that's what I'm trying to do. And and uh, very grateful to be part of the organization now. I'm looking forward to spending time uh, out there as an ambassador and, and just being a voice for the voiceless and helping our veterans. Well, Jared brought your name up and I said, entertainer, I'm vetting this guy. And I, and it took, you can ask him, it took me probably a week or two. Yeah. I, deep, I did a deep dive into you. I just wanted to be sure. And you're the real deal. Thank you. I wouldn't be you. saying it. And you can ask Jared. They kept asking me, what's the status? What's the status? I said, we're going to deep dive. We do not need anyone using this organization to, to, to move music, but you're moving music to help veterans. Yeah. You're moving product to help veterans. It's just totally different. So um, I'm proud to, in, uh, myself speaking for the rest of our leadership team, um, we're proud to give you that, that ambassadorship. It's an honor. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. All right, Tom. Um, it was great speaking with you. Uh, anything we can do to help, you just let me know. Let Jared, let Elizabeth or Jay, or, uh, Jay Hoffman know, and uh, we'll be there for you. Thank you very much, sir. Sorry. And uh, I'm honored to be a part of this and looking forward to the next steps. And uh, hope everyone enjoys Outlaw in the USA. They will. Say it again. Outlaw in the USA from Whiskey Town. Outlaw in the USA, and you can go to ilovewhiskeytown.com and check it out and read about it, what we're doing. Great. Thank you. Thank you.